wanted to present you a few products uh, from um, Vivid Zausings that I think they're really, really exciting and effective for um, your underwater housing and especially for the housing uh, produced by Nautigram that have uh, an internal circuit for uh, vacuum, vacuum um, leak detection. Um, what I've got here, I got a um, Panasonic LX100 uh, housing from Nautica, the NA LX100, and on this side I have the vacuum pump that comes with um, all products shipped by uh, Vivid Housings, and on this side I have um, a vacuum valve, an M14 adapter, an M16 adapter, and the Leak Sentinel V4. So, the Nottingham systems have um, a vacuum system that you can access uh, by opening the housing. Uh, you can see that there is a switch inside, on off switch. I'm putting the switch on, the light comes to tell me that the system is ready for establishing a vacuum. Now, one of the challenges is that um, the vacuum Bulbs, uh, the Nottingham produce, although they're really very well manufactured, they are quite expensive. So we're going to look at some alternative solution. Um, if we remove the screw here, that is, I loosened it up before, it wasn't that loose, uh, that is on the M16, we can use one of the M16 adapters that DVD housing provides, put it on just finger tight, and then we have two options. The simplest option and the least expensive, uh, which I think sets you at around 95 euros including shipment, is to simply install a valve. Now this adapter that I have is silver, but uh, Vivid Asics now produce all the adapters in black. Um, once you put the valve on, you can open it and you can attach special adapter for the inflator, again, the items need to be finger tight and attach it to the vacuum pump which is quite straightforward until you see in the green to come, initially the Nottingham housing will flash until it reaches a solid green that means the vacuum is established so here we are with a solid green indicator top of the housing we can then remove the adapter and place the cap on top so this costs around 95 euros or 80 pounds or actually a bit less at the current exchange rate probably 70 pounds um, and it's very cost effective to have uh, your vacuum valve for your Nottingham housing without having to buy the most expensive uh, Nottingham valve. Um, again, in the final production version this is all going to be black, so it looks quite neat. Right, let's have a look now at um, using the Leak Sentinel V4 for leak detection. Um, the benefit of this system is that um, the solution is completely external to the housing, so we don't need to open uh, the housing to activate and deactivate the vacuum system. But what is more, um, there are some features now that allow the housing to be put in a, uh, allow the leak detector to be switched off and then switched on again before you die, which means that you're saving on, the, on, on battery power. So you can prepare your housing the night before, check that it's um, uh, watertight, then switch off the indicator, switch it on again, the system again in the morning and you'll be ready to jump without using battery power. And what is more, if you just have to change a port, you can do it without having to open uh, the housing uh, to then re-establish the, the vacuum, which I think is, is a great benefit. So, in order to activate it, we need to press on the, on, the, on the valve here and attach the special part for pressurizing it and connecting it. The housing is empty, so there will be quite a few strokes required until I reach the vacuum. Initially, it changes color, alternate red and green, until it gets to a green solid. 
I still like to have another stroke once he's in green solid, like now. We then remove the accessories to the accessory to deflate to, to pressurize it and insert the back the, the screw cap. And now we have our system ready to jump in the water that we can switch on and off at any point in time and it will remember um, what was the, the, the pressure of the housing at that time. In this new V4 version, the leak sending also has got a temperature uh, um, sensor, which means if the housing gets hot because the, the camera is warming up inside, they're producing heat, and therefore the gas, uh, as the temperature raise, um, also, uh, as it is in a confined volume, increases pressure, this will compensate for this and will not give you uh, any um, false uh, alarms. So what I can do, you can see here, I can switch it off, leave my house in there for the night, and then go back again, switch it on, and the system will remember that they had achieved the correct level of pressure for vacuum. As I said, the great benefit is, if I want to change the port now, I simply have to Pressurize the system, switch off the valve, and I can go and change my port without having to change my port without having to open the housing uh, entirely to then re-establish the vacuum. Because all the operations I have to do, I can do them from outside. So here I can again establish vacuum without opening the housing. Of course, if you have to change the battery, you still have to open the housing, but there are cameras that, that do uh, multiple dives with a single battery and that uh, and this will, will mean you will not need to open the housing uh, and uh, if you have to, to, for example, change a port, you can just change the port on the lens, which is obviously uh, more convenient and less intrusive uh, than doing the other operation. So, the Leak Sentinel, uh, I think it's on sale, at, if I recall correctly, at 200 euros in the version that you see now. There are several versions, including one where the circuit is actually inside the housing. Obviously, I don't recommend that because that, uh, although it's a bit cheaper, it sets you in the same situation of the, of the Nauticam system where you need to open the housing again. But I think that especially if you, if you then do not intend to take the extra benefit, and you buy a Nauticam housing or a housing that has got pressure sensor, all you need is the valve, you cannot go wrong with the 95 euros <coughs> of, of uh, Vivid housings that includes the adapter for the housing and, and the valve itself when it works and is compatible with the vacuum systems of the housing that you already have. I uh, hope you find this useful. Um, if you do uh, end up um, uh, getting one of these valves. Uh, remember where you seen this on the Interceptor one-to-one -one blog and YouTube channel.